we have a deciding frame finish in our very first match of this year's Coral Thank World you. Grand Prix. Thank you, frame, Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. <laughs> Question, will O'Sullivan survive a scare? Or will Gilbert defeat the rocket for the first time in six attempts? What have you done, David? Has all that good work in the previous two frames gone with this well very risky shot okay if he pots it you say well what a great shot but what's the damage going to be well i suppose the way he won the last two frames is full of confidence but wow it's a big shot to take on joe johnson's got a phrase i like when someone misses a ball by a distance, he said he missed that by a week. I think he missed that one by a fortnight. Can run out Sullivan find yeah, yeah, sure. better control of that cue ball. Three. Let me just tell you before we get into the meat of this frame that Tom Ford has pulled one back against Stephen Maguire. 3-2 to Maguire there, over on the other side of this auditorium. Four. for over a month or so that 19 situations like this you might be a bit rusty but for someone like Rona Sullivan this is just instinct it just kicks 20. in didn't quite get the cannon in the bunch that he intended because he wanted to leave the red to the right corner but was always going to have some pot available, but you just feel that he's just going up a gear. Remember last year, lost in the first round here to Hong Kong's Marco Fu. 33. First round exits for O'Sullivan in any tournament are rare. But of course, he lost in the opening match he played at the Crucible last season to James Cahill. And as Neil mentioned, Neil Folds, before the match began, he lost to Dominic Dale, very surprisingly, in the first round of this season's World Open. 40. So he's not immune. But now it's looking good. There's a shot a couple of shots ago. He was literally an inch out of being perfect position. I wasn't 44. happy about it. And two shots later, had to play up for a bulk colour, but he seems to have rescued the situation back. The true greats have the ability to win deciders, not just win them, but to win them with big breaks, centuries. The man sitting to my left did it on a regular basis. Sullivan 
does so too. In fact, on one occasion in the semi-final of the UK Championship against Mark Selby, he won a decider with a 1-4-7. As Stephen did against him, brilliantly, in the final of the old Liverpool Victoria Charity Challenge. One of the greatest matches of all time. I'll give you that fiver later, Phil. It's a tenner with inflation. That pink doesn't look in line. 51. To me, a little bit to the left, doesn't it? Directly in between, if you look at black and brown. Nevertheless, I don't think it matters in the grand scheme of things. Another two reds that Ronnie needs are both available. Fifty nine. Sixty. Yeah, the fact that he's got right side of the blue. This match is close to being over. Yeah, the fact that he's got right side of the blue. This match is close to being over. Been his brilliant best tonight, but this deciding frame, Phil, he's found his cue 65. ball again. One brief little encounter up 65. to the bulk end of the table, but apart from that, it's been perfection. David ruined that long ball he went for. Yes, to use that phrase again, he missed the red by a week, and now he's going to have a week off. And on Sunday night, if he lifts the silver, we Sullivan Sullivan. We'll be recalling this frame. Recalling this frame. He played with fire in this match. But he's not been burnt. 81. 82. make yet another century 1035 so far in professional competition 90 and you know what he's like Steve and he might not admit it but I think this break will 96. give him a lot of pleasure 97 yeah this is how you look when deciding frames. Excellent century break from Ronnie Sullivan to win this match. for some O'Sullivan magic and he delivered when it was required most 100%. O'Sullivan retains his 100% record against David Gilbert and boy what a finish 129 total clearance Ronnie O'Sullivan 4 Dave Gilbert 3 he's into the last 16